Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, you guys already know what happened. Camera turned off on me again. I do not know what's up with it. So I am not going to try to redo the whole video over again because, well, this is going to be part two if you haven't, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> um, I'm not going to try to redo the whole last video that I did because um, I don't think that I would be able to remember everything that I just talked about so I am just gonna throw in a few more things that I didn't get a chance to um, throw into the video the last video so uh, I know I was about to get into uh, how you can use colors um, with your energy balls so if you're using this um, if you're using like one of these globes like the one that I have in front of me this one I mean you only really can see blue but after after you get used to you know being able to create an energy ball in your hand on your own you can you will be able to like switch the colors on you know the ones that you're creating on your own without this of course because um I think that the blue I mean who knows maybe if you stare at it long enough you can probably try to trick yourself into seeing a different color but when you're creating them in your hand you can make that energy ball whatever color it is that you want that's gonna resonate with what it is that you're trying to do or what it is that you're trying to accomplish um so yeah, the, um, this is my just my little witchy tip on how if you don't already know what energy feels like or looks like or, um, you know, you're just not able to create your own energy ball inside of your hand, this right here would be a really good exercise tool for you to be able to start to do that on your own and... Yeah, that's the first thing that I thought about when I seen these. I thought, you know, this would be... Well, first I was like, oh, this is going to look cool as hell in my witchy room. But then I was like, oh, you could also use this. And then, I mean, not just for, like, your energy balls. Like, you know, not just as a tool to learn how to create energy balls. But you could also use this in, like, different, you know, different spells maybe even scrying maybe I haven't tried it but I mean maybe if you stare into this globe you can use it for scrying um you can use it if you're feeling you know like if your energy you feel like your energy is like really low your vibration um you could use it to kind of like feel like you're giving yourself power like you know, touch it and play with it and feel like you're charging yourself um, with back with energy and with power and um, yeah, so I will go ahead and throw these two videos on my channel and um, yeah, let me know if you guys uh, if you guys try this at all and how it works for you or um, you know, if you guys want to do a video response to my video and let me know what other ways you can think of to, you know, try and create energy balls or good things that you could use as like a focal point or, you know, when you're not able to visualize, um, to visualize things, you know, yet what it is that you, that you might do or exercises that you guys might do or different tools. Um, go ahead and feel free to share. So I hope everyone is having a good night and I will see you later. Blessed be.